crazy when he was on your TV raps. What, what were your thoughts on Tupac? Um, I was going to ask about that. The the show. <laughs> well, my honest thoughts on Tupac, Tupac was a real good friend of, uh, of uh, mine and Ed named Stretch, who was with the yeah. live squad. God bless his soul. Also, he, he was uh, killed <clears throat> after Tupac. And, you know, we had a cool relationship with Pac because Ed knew Pac from way back from with Digital Underground. So the one thing I said about Pac, and I used to tell him so, someone said, dude, stop crying fire in a crowded theater. It's not good. And he's like, no, Jay, let me explain you the stunt like thing, man. Yo, yo. I said, yeah, but you're calling people to shoot you. Karma comes full circle, dude. You, you yeah. got to be careful with that. He said, you're not understanding power of language of what you're saying. I know what you're trying to say. He said, look, I'm trying to bring awareness to what's going on. I said, I can agree in all that, but there's a way. The more you're shouting, the more you're being that, at, you know, chaotic and chaos, oriented, the more the people that you're turning on are also going to be some people that are going to take you down. So you got to be careful. It's got to be like a fine line, a balanced line of everything. And he was there, oh, no, no. So when he came on the show, when he came on the show after what happened with him with the Hughes brothers, and he was sitting there going off. We had to, Ed had to, you know, put his hand over. Yo, man, yo, yo, don't do that, dude. You don't realize, you know, this could be held against you. And it was. They brought that tape into his court. Yeah. And that was held against him. What happened with him and the Hughes brothers? So, Pac was a very dynamic talent and a dynamic personality and a lot of charisma. But and he was very, very smart. I did give him that. I liked a lot of his music. I use the word like first, not love. I liked a lot of his music. I got to understand it after the fact, but I always say to myself, I always say, I wish he would have just pulled back a little teeny bit so that we could hear him today, because I don't think the same thing would have happened. Instead of jumping off and doing your first initial reaction, sometimes sit back and think it through, because Ed and I, like they had this special with uh, with uh, Soldat O'Brien and Icy about who shot Biggie and Tupac, and I was kind of laughing at T was out there doing that, and they were talking to Stretch. I said, well, Stretch told Ed and I what happened because he was there. And he was our dude. Right. He knew what happened. And we were like, what are they talking about on TV? This is crazy. How do y'all do this special? And you don't have not just me, but Ed should be there because Ed and Stretch, man, they were like brothers. And you got exactly. to tape your plan that you got from from Fab Five Freddy about Stretch. It doesn't, that did, didn't, even, it didn't even make sense to me. But this is what happens when people like to tell the fictionalized version of the facts. But you said Tupac and what happened with him is like, I really can't st- couldn't stand the true story where who killed Tupac and Biggie was Vibe Magazine and The Source. That's the truth. And I went to both of them telling them, could you please stop publishing covers, the East versus the West, the West versus the East. You're dividing this thing. And that's what we used to tell MTV. When you got rid of your MTV raps, when you did that, you made this the wild, wild West. Because the one thing about your own TV raps, you on your own TV raps, it didn't say your own TV raps Compton. It didn't say your own TV raps the Bronx. Your own TV raps Atlanta. Your own TV raps Detroit. You on your own TV raps, period. Everybody was equal. The moment you destroyed that balance, you set the yeah. galaxy out of control. Yeah. 